Welcome to the review of variable types. Variables are how we collect information for analysis and for description of our samples. If you have information that can or will be measured, it is an objective variable. If it is something that is answered or based on opinion, it is subjective. Objective variables are often thought of as clinical variables, things like MRIs, lab measures, weight, age, genetic sex. Subjective measures are things that are self-reported, scales for pain, quality of life, gender, gender identity, sexual preference. Those are subjective variables. There is some middle ground. There are subjective variables that are collected by trained observers, and those are specific to the field that you're studying. The biggest thing to understand about variables is to collect them as specifically as you need them to be collected or as specifically as you can. A great example is to simply ask someone what their current age in years is. You can always categorize that age later, but if you only collect age in categories, then you will not be able to use age as a continuous or numeric variable. So what types of variables do we have? We have group variables, also called categorical variables or character variables. These are collected in categories. There are two types of categorical variables, ordinal categorical and nominal categorical. Ordinal, as the name implies, have an inherent order to them. Nominal are in name only. There is no order to the responses. You cannot get a mean from these types of variables. There is no way to get a mean age if you have people select their age in a group setting. So ordinal variables, again, an inherent order to responses, low, medium, high, no pain, some pain, lots of pain. Age collected in groups, it is ordinal, 0 to 5, 6 to 10, 11 to 15, or 20 plus. Anything that can be put in a preferred or accepted order that is captured in a group is an ordinal variable. Nominal variables are in name only. There is no inherent order or right or correct or higher lower order to these variables. Things like race, hair color, blonde, brunette, redhead, political party, your living arrangement. Are you in an apartment or a home? Do you rent or do you own? There is no inherent order of low, medium, high, or lower to higher, or more preferred to less preferred when you think about nominal variables. And again, you cannot capture a mean for these variables. When reporting categorical variables, it is an N and a percent a number and a percentage in each level. Remember, a percentage goes from 0 to 100, and a proportion goes from 0 to 1. You always want to use at least one decimal place or whatever is appropriate for the variable you're collecting, but usually one decimal place will suffice. Do not round up because you could end up with a total that ends up over 100. If there are only two levels to your variable, then it is considered a dichotomous, di meaning two, dichotomous, yes or no, variable. Cumulative percents are only for ordinal variables with three or more groups. If, for example, you have a response of low, medium, high, you could report a cumulative percentage for those that are low and medium. You wouldn't think about combining a low and a high group. Cumulative are simply for ordinal variables to show everything that is this level or lower or this level and higher. You can only make numeric variables out of categorical variables under very specific circumstances. Again, the key between categorical and numeric is that with numeric, you can capture or calculate a mean value. You cannot do that with categorical variables. So what about numeric variables? Often called continuous variables, they are collected as a number. Not kidding here, a number, not a group of numbers, not 12 or higher, three or more, two or fewer. Those are categorical. 
With a continuous or numeric variable, you are simply capturing the value of that variable. Age in years, systolic blood pressure, height in inches, weight in pounds. You can use a dropdown or a list and have people select the number if you have a limited list of numbers. So days in a week is a good example. There's only eight numbers there, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven are the days that you may exercise in a week. You could have people select that from a dropdown and use it numerically. You wouldn't want to do this if you were asking somebody something about in the past year, how many days have you done this? Because that list is, is way too many. So you'd have to leave that for them to enter a number. Think about things like lab values. Those should be reported back in units. Anything that you can add them up and divide by the number observed to get your mean is a continuous variable. So how do you know? Again, going back to the age example, on the left is categorical age. If people are selecting a checkbox, you cannot naturally get a mean from that variable because people could be 21 or 25. So what would you use for their value to capture a mean? That is not a numeric variable. That is not a continuous variable. It is in groups. Meanwhile, in the box out on the right, continuous age age in years, where somebody simply enters in their current age. You can naturally calculate a mean from this variable. This is a numeric variable. Here's some more examples. If you're asking someone about their pain level, low, moderate, high, that is an ordinal variable. You can report an N and a percent with this. You could also report a cumulative percent. If you ask the question, how many days in the last week has your pain been high? And have someone select the days their pain has been high from a list of zero to seven or write in zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, or they could write in 2.5. That is a numeric variable. You can calculate a mean and standard deviation. You can calculate a median IQR or a median and minimum and maximum, or you could capture the mode, which is the most frequent response. Days and months you in the last month you exercised. If you capture this as zero days, one to five days, six to 10 days, or 11 or more days, that is a categorical variable. You cannot capture a mean from this variable. You would report N percent and you could report cumulative percents. You could report the most frequent response. But again, you cannot capture a mean. Days and months you exercised captured in groups is categorical days and months you exercised and they enter in a number or they select a number from a list of days, that's it. It is just a number. That is a numeric variable. You can calculate a mean, a median. You can get standard deviation, IQR, min and max. You can recategorize this if you wanted to, but if you capture it as categories, you cannot make it numeric. So capture it in numbers when you can. Here's another example. We often report BMI as categories of underweight, normal, overweight, and obese. If you capture it this way, if you have people select which category of BMI they're in, then you can only report the N percent. You can't go from underweight and get back to their BMI category value, and you can't get back to their height and weight if you just have them select a box of their category. On the right side, if you capture someone's weight in pounds and someone's height in inches, from that, you can calculate the BMI. Subsequently, you can then put them into their categories. This only works in one direction. If you capture the numeric values, you can create the BMI and then you can put them in categories. If you simply capture the category of BMI, then you will never know the numeric value of the BMI. Again, in this situation, you'd always want to capture height and weight. Is it numeric? How do I know? Again, go back to this example. Categorical age versus continuous age. Think about the variables that you have and what you need from them. Do you need a mean value? Are you looking for standard deviation? 
That is a numeric variable. It is a continuous numeric variable. When you are reporting these, you can report a mean and standard deviation if the data is symmetric. You can report the median, min, max, or median and interquartile range if the data is skewed. You can report the mode, which is the most common response. You can ultimately take numeric variables and put them in categories and report the N and percent. So you could report the percentage of people who are over the age of 50. In summary, there are two types of variables, categorical or numeric, categorical or continuous. Numeric is best when possible. You can summarize it with a mean or median. You can group afterwards if needed. Categorical when there's no numeric or it isn't needed, and those are reported in N and percent. You cannot generally convert categorical variables to a number or numeric or continuous variable in most cases. Only under very specific circumstances, making some assumptions, can you do that. So when you are designing your data collection, if there is a numeric response that you can collect, collect it. You can always put it in groups later. Once you capture data in a categorical setting, that is all you can do with it. So when you're trying to decide or design a variable, think about if you need to know the mean or the median, or if all you need to know is the groups, and that should help you with your variable design. Variables that you have will also determine what type of analysis you can run in your bivariate or your larger analyses later down the line when you look at modeling.